A local man is breathing new life into Naked Falls. And yes, that's the real name. The longtime outdoor hotspot closed last year due to safety concerns. Now its new owner says he can make it work. KGW's Maggie Vespa is live in Clark County. And Maggie, that's not Naked Falls behind you. No, Joe, no naked in this live shot. Naked Falls is actually in very rural Skamania County, and it's so rural, in fact, that we had to drive about half an hour just to get cell reception after our shoot. And I should point out, in case you're wondering, yes, Naked Falls got its name from all the naked sunbathers that have tended to frequent it over the years. That said, its new owner says he wants to make sure that everyone, including future generations, naked or not, can enjoy it responsibly. This is video of our crew walking through the woods to Naked Falls. The guy leading us, its new owner. His name is Stephen Epling, and his background is in finance, not forestry. This is new to you. It is new to me. And it it been... being running a place like this. Naked Falls itself, though, that Epling knows well. The Skamania native has been coming here since he was 13. I don't really have an affinity for things. Like, I don't get really attached to things specifically. So in a similar way that I feel attachment to people, I feel attached to this place. An attachment that he was afraid would break. For decades, this property was owned by the timber giant Warehouser. Last year, they closed it, citing safety concerns. Case in point, these photos from our KGW archive showing a rescue here in 2014. In short, people came here to cliff dive and do other illicit activities. Epling understood the closing, but it hurt. I can feel it right now. It, it was uh, my heart sank. Suddenly an idea. He could buy it and run it. People told Epling he was crazy, but he persisted and sold off rental properties, got a loan, finally paying $275,000 for 131 acres. He has long-term plans to build restrooms and campsites here, limit parking with $10 permits, and eventually hire a full-time campsite host. In the meantime, he thinks people, including his now six-year-old son, should enjoy this spot. Come Saturday, he plans to give Naked Falls the grand reopening it deserves. And places like this have either become fewer and fewer or have become more and more costly. And to think that, you know, local people who've been enjoying it for decades, centuries maybe, um, could no longer do that, uh, I just, it meant too much to me to let it go.